Hi, I'm Mary Matz, creator of Twisted Yarns. The garter bar is a very versatile tool. While it can be used to create the garter stitch on the machine, of course, that is not all it can do. It can hold stitches without waste yarn, hold multiple pieces at the same time, increase and decrease stitches, create lace and cables, and so much more. I love my garter bar so much that I keep thinking of new ways to use it and it's a go-to tool throughout my videos. I'd love to hear how you use yours too. Just add a comment below. In this series, I'm demonstrating the techniques necessary to get the most out of your Chris Crafter garter bar and LK150. These same techniques are useful if you use a Chris Crafter garter bar on any other machine too. Oh, one more thing. In the video description, I have added links to the resources talked about in this video. You will also find timestamps so you can jump ahead and back again to any parts in this video. And while you're there, if you want to see more videos like this, please take a moment and click the subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. But for now, let's begin at the beginning with an introduction to the garter bar and basic techniques. The basic Chris Crafter garter bar is available with two parts, two connectors, and some screws. The needle stopper plate is available separately but is well worth the investment as it will save you much time and aggravation. Each section of the garter bar is flat and each stem has a slit for each needle. You can use each section separately on smaller projects. If you need it to span the entire bed, you can connect two sections together with the little connector pieces. Sandwich the first half of the garter bar between the two connectors. Use the bolts and nuts to secure the three pieces together through the first two holes. Then slip the second half of the garter bar between the open ends of the connectors and align the holes. Bolt them together just as before. Tighten the nut on the end as tight as you can. It is important to use all four sets of nuts and bolts to secure the sections together. This prevents them from getting out of alignment as you use them. One more thing before you work across the entire bed. You need to make an adjustment to your bed. Now, there's a little button under here. Now, I flip my, my LK150 over because I wanted you to see this button. Some people don't realize it's there, but it's when you have, when you have the machine clamped down, you simply can't see it. So, with, before you clamp your machine down, press that button and this will extend out. And that happens on both sides of the needle bed. The reason you do that is because when you put your carriage on, your needles will be cleared. Because if you put both sets of your stopper plates on the machine, you won't be able to get to the end of the machine and they won't fit. To adjust the needle stopper plate, pull the needles out to hold position with the solid side of the stopper. Position the stopper so the back solid edge is over the needle butts, then lower the edge with the teeth so that the teeth surround each needle just past the tips of the plastic needle channels. If it does not span this distance, you may need to loosen the two screws so the stopper can be positioned. Squeeze the back and front edges together and tighten the two Phillips head screws. Repeat the same process to adjust the other half. What the stopper plate does is it stabilizes the needles. It has little teeth on the end. The little teeth go around the needles just past the tips of the needle bed, the plastic part. And when you put it in place, the needle will not wiggle sideways, it will not move up and down, it will not move back and forth. So it's there. And that's a key element. 
without the stopper plates. They say you can use the garter bar without the stopper plates. However, I think the stoppers are absolutely important. This is just a simple stockinette swatch to show you how easy it is to move the stitches to the garter bar. The garter bar can be used to remove stitches from the machine without the need for knitting waste yarn. Once they are on the garter bar, they will just sit there ready to return to the machine later in the project. Use the back edge of the needle stopper to move all the needles to hold position. Then lower the tooth edge over the tips of the plastic needle channels and between the needles. Push the knitting back against the needle bed to open all the latches. I often use the solid edge of the empty garter bar to do this all at once. Place the slits in the garter bar over the hooks of the needles. Check to make sure that each slit is in the hook. You can usually feel if a latch closed as the garter bar does not seat in the hooks. If this happens, Remove the garter bar and use a cut credit card or similar card to slide across the hooks and reopen any closed latches. Then place the garter bar back into the hooks of the needles and continue. Put a little tension on the garter bar and hold either straight out or with the solid edge of the bar slightly higher than the needle bed. Slide the stitches right onto the garter bar. It is that easy. If setting aside, cut the yarn. I have knit a second swatch and we're going to move it to a garter bar by pulling out with our stopper plate and dropping our plate to secure the needle so they don't wiggle at all. But we're just going to use the same garter bar. And what you're going to do is you're going to push the knitting. It works better if you have a weight on your, on your knitting and I took my weight off because it was falling off. So I'm going to put a little weight back on because you don't want the knitting to roll off of what you're doing. And I'm just going to take the same garter bar that I was using before because let's say this is the back and this is a sleeve. And I'm just going to simply put it there and pull it back on. Push it forward and that opens the latches and you lift it right off the top, just like we did before. We're at the point where we want to put stitches back on the machine. So, what we want to do is we want to first pull up enough needles to match, and there I have it. That's, that's the right amount of needles, 22 needles. Where is it? Need one more over here. 23 needles. Then we're going to put our plate, our stopper plate in place, and it falls right into place. But there's one more step. Because we don't have any knitting to push back to open up the latches, what you want to do is you want to use a cutoff credit card or store card that's no good anymore. And Use that to open up all the latches. Latches must be open on the hooks. Okay, then we just place the end, the tip of the little slot, that's of the eyelet, onto the hooks and just simply push what you want to push on. And that is how, and then lift that up, and that's how you, you know, put back some knitting. In this video, you learned how to assemble and use the different parts of your garter bar set and how to move the knitting from the machine to the garter bar and from the garter bar back to the machine. In our next episode, we're going to work on how to do the actual garter stitch, which is exactly how the garter bar got its name. Thank you for watching this video. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos and events. Happy machine knitting!